Artilleries, though they seem primitive in nature, continue to play an important role in the battlefield. They can be both a defensive and offensive weapon. Artillery can be used to decimate large areas and is much cheaper and faster than air support. There has been evolutionary improvements in artillery shells as well as guns, but now there could be a revolutionary upgrade. Norway's aerospace and defense company, Namo, has showcased a ramjet powered shell that can be fired from any standard 155 mm howitzer and can hit targets about 100 kilometers away. Different branches of the U.S. military, the U.S. Army, U.S. Marine Corps, as well as the U.S. Navy, has been interested in such a shell. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes ramjet powered artillery shell that the U.S. could use in the future. Let's get started. America uses self propelled M109 or towed M777 155 mm howitzers. The standard shells from these howitzers have a range of around 20 kilometers or 12 miles. In case of the rocket assisted rounds, the range is around 32 kilometers or 20 miles. The U.S. Army is working on extending the length of the howitzer's barrel, which could potentially double the range of these rounds. But even with that, those shells won't have the range of 100 kilometers promised by ramjet shells. Namo displayed a full size prototype of the design of the ammo at Euro Satori Arms Expo in Paris, which began on June 11, 2018. Currently, it is being simply called 155mm solid fuel ramjet. Normal shells start to decelerate as soon as they leave the barrel of the cannon, but this will not be the case with ramjet powered shells. These shells will use the initial high launch velocity to start the ramjet motor. Propelled by a solid fuel propellant, it will reach a max speed of Mach 3 and continue to travel with that speed for 50 seconds. The good thing is that there will not be any difference in the firing cycle or activities of the artillery crews, so there will not be any requirement for any elaborate training exercise for using this shell. It is evident that ramjet powered shells will be useful for traditional howitzers, but its application does not end there. This ammo could be a very good fit for presently ammo-less 155mm guns on the Zumwalt class destroyers of the US Navy. Viewers may note that long range land attack projectile LRLAP, meant for 155mm naval artillery developed and produced by Lockheed Martin missiles and fire control and BAE systems as the prime contractor is now cancelled due to excessive costs. The price for an individual round which has a max range of 150 kilometers is estimated to be 800,000 to a million dollars. Vice President of Namo's Large Caliber Ammunitions Division, Thomas Danbolt, emphasizing the increased range, said in a press release, "This could be a game changer for artillery. We're basically launching a missile from a cannon." With the exception of a small number of precision guided shells with a 50 to 60 kilometer range, 30 to 40 miles, most artillery shells simply fire across the same distances as they did when the M109 was introduced more than 50 years ago. According to the firm, live firing tests of the shells could start in 2019 or 2020 and expects that the ammunition could be ready for production and deployment between 2023 and 2024. There are lots of possibilities to convert the shells into a precision weapon. This can be done with the addition of pop-out fins and guidance systems like GPS assisted inertial navigation system INS. The package can be enhanced further by the addition of a laser or millimeter wave radar guidance. This will enable the shell to take out moving targets. It is not clear how the cost of the rounds will come out finally. If it is reasonable, then it will truly be a game changer. If any branch of the US military goes ahead and decides to pursue the ramjet rounds, then there are many possibilities. US military could work with allies and partners to share the cost just like the F-35 program. If the project is taken up and implemented efficiently, it will change the way traditional artillery shells operate as well as provide new life to the offensive capability of Zumwalt class destroyers. Out of the box, the 155mm solid fuel ramjet shell looks promising, but it remains to be seen how it is taken forward. Thanks for watching. 
Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.